rabid about recycling, fiendish about the fight against global warming. Why am I saying this? Well, there's a contest organized by an SFU professor you might be interested in. Bob Nixon explains. Barista Sarah Chu can make a mean cup of organic coffee. Medium mocha, sitting on the bar. Served in a 100% recyclable coffee cup. Her employer promotes a green image and Chu tries to live the green lifestyle herself. I ride my bike to um, school and work. I don't have a car. Many customers also like to live green. We buy locally. I support local merchants. Buying organic and limiting the amount of uh, driving I do with my car using a bike. Boyd Cohen likes to hear that kind of talk. A professor of sustainability at Simon Fraser University, he's launched an online contest to find the world's greenest person. It's all about raising awareness. Some people think they know how because they recycle or because they put uh, low energy light bulbs in their houses. And the point of this survey is to help raise awareness that that's not enough. Well, sure, you could walk and bike everywhere, eat local and organic, recycle everything, live in a super insulated apartment. But would that make you the world's greenest person? No. And the greenest people on the planet are the ones that live off the land. So car drivers will not win this contest, public transit users might, but there are many shades of green. It's all about moderation, yeah. it's all about sensible use, and it's not about excess. I'm just limiting your footprint on the earth. I'll tell you one thing, I wouldn't qualify. The public gets to vote on who wins when the contest closes in a few months. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver.